Now if I come back to this screen here and I type lsof temp testfile.txt, I can see that there are two separate instances of tail that are accessing testfile.txt, just like we would expect. I can tell they're different instances because they've got the different PIDs here. So you could go through, say, you know, you wanted access to this file and you didn't care um, how you terminated or killed either, you know, both the tail processes, you just wanted them to let go of that file. You could uh, kill them in one of two ways. The first way uh, would be to issue the kill command and use uh, backticks to enclose an argument to the kill, kill command. And what we're going to type inside the backticks is lsof-t and that's that dash t is for the terse option which strips out all the data from the output except for the PIDs. And then we're going to do temp testfile.txt. What this does is the backticks tell the shell to execute the command with inside of here and then replace all the backticked line or section of the line with the output. So this command right here would give you a list of PIDs which would then be fed directly into kill. So if I hit enter you can see, I'll go back and do an LSOF, you see that there's no, the tail, both instances of tail are no longer looking at testfile.txt. And if I go back to the virtual terminals where I was running those tail commands, you see terminated here and terminated here. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this back up for the next way of doing this, of, of killing both of the tail processes. Okay, so we do an LSOF, we see both instances of tail are running and looking at that file again. Now you can use fuser to basically to do the same thing as kill with the backticks. So if you type fuser and uh, dash ki and then temp test file dot txt. The k option stands for kill processes and it will attempt to kill all the processes that you have permissions to kill that are accessing testfile.txt. The I option makes that kill process interactive. So every time that F user wants to kill a process, it will say, is it okay to do this, yes or no. So if I hit enter here, you can see that it displays both the PIDs of the tail commands, which were shown in our LSOF output, and then it starts stepping through and giving me those yes or no questions. So kill process 6704, yes. Kill 6705, yes. So now if I run LSOF, you see nothing's accessing it. If I come back to this screen here, you see that the tail commands have been killed. Okay. Now, one thing you can do differently is you can specify a type of signal as an argument to the K option. So if I wanted it to send the terminate signal, I would do dash term. Or if I wanted to send uh, sig hup, I'd send hup. So that is that's the basics of how to use both LSOF and, and uh, FUSER. There are a lot of other uh, examples that you can find on the web and some uh, a couple other examples in the blog post as well. And there's a tremendous amount of information in the man and info pages for each of the commands. One thing to remember on LSOF is that when it runs sometimes, especially when it's doing network scanning or uh, network connection scanning, it, it may take a while to complete. It'll set there and, and look like it's hung, but uh, most of the time it's really not. Now there is every once in a while where it does have a problem with blocking. And if you run into that kind of situation where it's just taking way too long to complete, have a look at the precautionary options section of the Apple Quick Start Guide, which is in the resource 
uh, resources section of the blog post and also in the man page there's a set of sections beginning with blocks and timeouts um, that give you some information on how to deal with blocking issues so that's the end of the video I hope that has uh, helped all of you and given you some good information uh, if you uh, enjoyed the video or have suggestions on how we can make it better and you know information that we can include to make it more useful please drop us a line in the comment section or send us an email thanks for watching